Hi everyone. So, I wanted to make this video for a while, but... Um... Laziness, maybe, caught on to it. I wanted to talk about why I'm not buying another ferret. There's three reasons why. So, the first reason I'm not buying the ferret, or getting another ferret, is responsibility. Now, some of you who are adults will know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that I already have way too much responsibility. Right now, I am running at almost 100% of my maximum capacity for responsibility. For me, whenever someone says, you know, I want to get this pet or I want to get a ferret, I, I say, okay, what, what responsibilities do you have? How are you going to be able to fit this in? There's only so much of me that I can dedicate to my responsibilities, and so something else is going to suffer in my life, or is not going to get as much attention if I add more responsibility than I can handle. And if you're younger, you know, you might not be, you might be like, well, no, I can take care of them. Yeah, as a kid you don't have, or as a young child or teenager, you generally don't have as many responsibilities, and you have a lot of time that you can dedicate to taking care of animals and such, and that's great. But me now as an adult, I just, I, I don't have the time like I used to, and it kind of sucks. But the second reason I am not going to get another ferret is that money, much like responsibility, I only have a certain amount of money. I'm paying my own bills now, so I don't have as much money as I used to when, say, I was living with my parents. But I'll say this, I am doing okay for myself. I am getting by. Right now, in my financial situation, I have enough to live, I have enough to maybe spend a little bit on myself, and I have enough to take care of one ferret. I could maybe take care of two, but that would be stretching things. And one of the things that I tell people um, when they ask how expensive are ferrets or how much money should I have saved up for ferrets, and I always tell them, you, you need to have a decent amount of money set aside that in case your ferret gets sick or needs surgery, you have this money set aside to take care of that. And so right now I have money set aside in case Rosie gets sick. I have a little bit of savings in case something goes wrong, you know, say my car breaks down, which is a very real possibility uh, because I drive older cars because they're cheaper. And then I have money to pay the rent, money and money to eat off of. And to add another ferret to that mix just to, to me does not seem like a very wise decision at this stage in my life. Maybe uh, a year or two into my new career, I might get another ferret because I will have the money to be able to take care of two, three, maybe four ferrets. But right now I'm a little poor. And so I have enough for me to take care of Rosie, to take care of my bills, to buy food and enjoy myself a little bit. But if I were to add another ferret to that mix, it would just be unwise. And the third reason, and some of you wrote in the comments that I should go ahead and get another ferret, get another Jack. Um, and I'm very appreciative of you know, your suggestions of, of how to deal with this. And for me, Jack was a very unique ferret and uh, there's nothing that can replace him. Just like there's never going to be another exact copy of me. Sure, there may be people that look like me. There, there may be people who sound like me and, you know, who kind of act similar to me, but there's never going to be an exact copy of me. There's never going to be another me. There's never going to be another Jack. And combined with the previous reasons, it, 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 to me it seems selfish for me to want to go out and replace Jack. I don't think I'm ever going to find a ferret that is the exact same as Jack, because Jack was my first ferret, and Jack was, you know, awesome. This incredibly cuddly ferret who 
love to steal my wallet and other things. And I know they'd be fair it's similar to that, but I don't know. I'm very appreciative of all the comments that y'all have left and uh, all the, the kind words you've said. And please don't take what I've said as anything against that. I'm very appreciative. These are just, these are just my reasons for why I'm right now refraining from getting another ferret. And it's, it's sad to me that for me and I'm sure for many other people that the reason we can't get another ferret or we won't get a ferret is because it's financially difficult to do. Um, ferrets are exotic animals and you need an exotic vet to take care of them and they don't come cheap. They're not your regular veterinarian. So yeah, it's, it's a tough situation. But right now, Rosie is doing well um, with just me. Uh, she's, to me, seems very happy. Uh, still incredibly playful and loves to chase ping pong balls still. So she's doing well. My next video is not gonna be related to ferrets. My next video is going to be a personal thing. It's gonna be a look back into my history on a certain game. And it's not gonna be ferret related, but it's gonna be a documentation of a part of my life that was a while ago that I miss. Nostalgia is pretty weird sometimes, it's pretty powerful. So I hope you all enjoy that and excuse the uh, experimentation there. All right guys, well that, that does that for me. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being so supportive of this channel while I've been gone. Um, I'm just so thankful for all of you. I'll see you on the next one.